Good point. Good point, Teresa. Um, so what about, because um, I know in like Mesoamerican cultures, that sort of death is more of a celebration of like, like type thing. And in our they, culture, it's more like, you know, you're mourning the death instead of celebrating the death. Yeah. Like, what do you know about sort of the death practices in those areas, sort of when the, the attitude toward, towards death is so different? Well, I'll tell you what really is markedly different. It, I mean, death is sad. You know, wherever you are, a death is sad. But on the, the day of the dead, in Mexico, the dead return, or uh, well, you hope they do. And you know, unlike the, the widow who goes to the headstone in the London Cemetery or here in Seattle and talks to her husband all by herself, these are huge communal events that run for a week. The whole community is involved, the whole family is involved, people go to the cemeteries, they create uh, what are called ofriendas which are little altars, very elaborate kinds of things. There are special foods for this. You put out objects that would be loved by the person in life, sometimes food, uh, often enough a bottle of liquor or beer. Put up photographs, there are candles, there are images of the Virgin, uh, Mary. Um, there are very there are all night vigils at these things. People sing songs. And the hope is that the dead come back and see this is going on, and know it's a kind of annual welcoming them back. And so it becomes a very kind of communal event where everybody can have their say and know that the dead are watching. Where, as in our culture, to the extent anything like that would ever happen at all, would be very privatized. And it's usually privatized in the domestic sphere. I've, I've sat at occasions where I've heard people say, for instance, Thanksgiving. We're having grandma's favorite Swedish cookies as part of dessert in honor of her. She's not here, but I think she's looking down on us. Who knows? We're enjoying her cookies. I mean, that's, that's so shrunken compared to what's going on in Mexico. We have a whole week of celebration and the dead coming back, and you hope they're all there in some way taking you to join it as a communal event. It becomes very privatized for us. As much of our grieving kind of processes are privatized, or they're kept within the domestic sphere, they're not shared with others. Whereas in most cultures, they are shared with others. And so to get around that, at least in our own society, we create support groups if you need them. We them go to support groups. So there is a difference. Jack o' lanterns, incidentally, that's an Irish custom. Pagan Irish custom were really kind of a variant on that. They were set out at um, Halloween time uh, to attract the spirits of the dead who had died in the last year to come back to the bonfires where the Irish being Irish, you know they were having a good time. <laughs> and the jack-o'-lanterns were to light the way. That, that was the original use of jack o -lanterns. And I'm not sure they'd carve faces. They probably poked holes in it or something, or just cut the tops off and put a candle in it or something. But that was the idea. All right, uh, I guess we're